Well, we are uh, NAVAC, HVAC tool manufacturer, uh, focused on a flagship product, vacuum pumps, uh, everything from 2 CFM to 300 CFM, um, everything in between, recovery machines, and uh, you can see right here we were doing some pretty cool demos with uh, Jim Bergman a little while ago and, and ourselves, uh, watching our 2 CFM beat the pants off of our 12 CFM pump just by changing the hose setup in between and taking the trader cores out. Not a new concept anymore to you guys, I know, but there's still a lot of the industry that needs to catch up and get on board with that. So over on this side, we've got uh, all of our tubing tools, refrigeration tools. Um, we're walking in there or we stay out here? Yeah, let's walk, go, let's walk in there, see what you got. New uh, battery operated flaring tool for the mini split people, anybody in the ductless market. Uh, could get a lot of value out of our product offering. We continue to add things that cater to what they do every day. Flaring tool here. This is our new battery operated flaring tool. We got little spring loaded clamps. Get it in there. And our little depth gauge. Snap it in. Lock it down. Walk away, press the button. It's going to go ahead and do the work for us. And it's going to be the same each time. You want to bring that up a little bit closer? Yeah. Just so I can... And we get ourselves a very consistent, repeatable 45 degree flare. That can then sit inside and seat right on our flare gauge, which you can see inside has a little machine lip I guess if you will and a perfect flare will pass into that hole but catch that lip before it passes through so that's a good quick indicator that you've got you know the correct flare and then if you follow that up with maintaining your you know manufacturer's torque specs you're gonna be good to go and really minimize those callbacks or issues after commissioning and startup with that BRF or, or mini split equipment. Any questions or comments on there so far? Right now, I mean, I'm just a rookie to this. Just I don't know much about it at all, but I'm looking at the I chat. Don't have okay. any questions right now in the chat, but right. we'll definitely be checking, and if over the next few days I see something that pops up, I'll be sure to come by here. Absolutely. It's really fascinating, though. Thank we you so much. We caught us at a good moment. We, we've been mobbed most of the time, but... Uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I've, I've been waiting for you guys. Good, good. Well... Yep. Definitely be by at some point within the next few days, though. Now. Absolutely. So there you go. That's going to be NAVAC and what they're doing over there. They got some fun stuff. And, um, you know, just one of the other sponsors at the symposium. Right now we got this teaching going on. I'm trying to see who this is. If my clock is not deceiving me, it looks like that's Steve Koskia. But, you know, I'm not sure. You could be wrong. You know, there was this one time that this guy came to my door. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's John Cena. So I was really excited and I was gonna ask for his autograph, but then I realized that it was actually, you know, just a guy dressed up as John Cena. And I should have figured that because it was actually Halloween that day. Um, and he looked like he was about 13 years old. So, you know, 